Plans for a football stadium on the Fresno State campus had been around since the 1960s. And in June of 1979, those plans were put into action. On November 15, 1980, it all became reality. Welcome to the first game ever played in Bulldog Stadium. Sergio Toscano threw the first touchdown pass in Bulldog Stadium history, and the Red Waves celebrated the Bulldogs' 21-14 win over Montana State. It was the first of many memorable moments at the new home of the Bulldogs, and some of the best ones came from the California Bowl. Stanford will throw, straight drop back, touchdown to Wesson! It was the Dogs' first bowl victory since 1961, and the start of something special. We just won the Cal Bowl! We just won the Cal Bowl! The Dogs won four Cal Bowls in front of their faithful fans, and as the years mounted, so did the memories. Memories like the shootout between Heisman hopefuls Trent Dilfer and Drew Bledsoe when Washington State came to town back in 1992. Or the Bulldogs' defeat of San Jose State in 1999 to win the WAC title. And the game against Oregon State in 2001 that vaulted Pat Hill's Bulldogs onto the national stage. Bulldog Stadium is where the Dogs founded quarterback U, Toscano and Tedford, Sweeney and Barsotti, Dilfer, Volick, Pinniger and Carr. It's where Henry Ellard caught passes and where Ron Cox caught quarterback. Come and there's the man, Ron Cox. It's where the dogs dropped 91 points on New Mexico in 1991 and 70 on Hawaii in 2004. It's where Clifton Smith made his name returning punts and Ryan Matthews set a new standard for rushing yards on a hot Friday night in 2009. 20. In its 30 years, Bulldog Stadium has grown. It once seated 30,000 fans, now it seats 42. But when the Bulldogs come down the hill, the Red Wave knows that the stadium's history of greatness is ready to witness another chapter.